having a new domestically produced engine make China's fifth-generation J-20 stealth fighter measurably improve the aircraft's performance and mission coverage? The pace at which production of the J-20 is increasing could be significant, given China's ability to mass-produce it on an industrial basis. This is something very likely on the radar at the Pentagon because, regardless of whether the J-20 can compete with the F-35, the number of fifth-generation aircraft in China's fleet is critical. The more J-20 China has, the more the PLA Air Force can pose a threat. If the J-20 can't compete with the US F-35 in terms of sensor range, targeting precision, and multi-role air dominance, then having a larger number of aircraft may not make too much of a difference. For example, if an F-35's long-range, high-fidelity sensors spot a J-20 before it is detected, then a single F-35 could be positioned to destroy the entire J-20 formation. A Chinese aeronautical engineer quoted in the newspaper said the domestic engine gave up the potential of the J-20, as the old engine was not adapted for the aircraft, and had to make compromises in its performance. Improvements to the J-20 are not limited to just the engineers but also include several redesigns of the fuselage, structure, pipelines, electrical circuits and subsystems. The switch to domestically made WS-10 engines from imported ones has made mass production possible. Other systems in the J-20 including avionics systems, radar systems and weapons systems, are already developed domestically. The scope and speed of the J-20 production increase may not be clear yet, but the intent and industrial capacity of both seem to be there. Given the consensus that Sun Tzu principle of mass importance is still quite relevant and important in modern warfare, China will need a much larger number of J-20s to truly compete for air superiority both globally and in a purely regional sense.